There we go, Steve. Once again, our old hunting ground. Yeah. Um, it's the heritage, and um, mm -hmm. here with this lovely car and, and uh, something yeah. going on here. Yeah, exactly. Moral of the story is don't do gardening at home, folks. It's not good for you. Um, and also, it prevents me from driving my favourite car of all time, which is now even better because it's all electric. Sadly, that means that I have to do all the driving, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which is fantastic because it is fantastic. And listen, this is one of the most iconic cars of all time. And Steve, you know all about it, I believe. Yeah, well, the amazing thing about the DS is that it comes after the Traction Avant, which is something that looks like the Keystone Cops. And uh, it was like something that dropped out of a spaceship uh, into the Paris Motor Show. Nobody could believe their eyes. It has multiple innovations. We don't have time to go into them, all of them today, um, but use of materials, all sorts of things, and in particular, the hydro-pneumatic suspension. And the hydro-pneumatic suspension was uh, a big challenge for us uh, when we did the conversion. So, should we pop the hood and have a look? Yeah, sure. Do. Let's do that. This is the, uh, where obviously the engine was, um, and I don't know if everybody knows this, but this is quite an unusual setup in a car anyway. The gearbox is at the front, and the engine was, was behind it, so it's sort of opposite way around to most, uh, way around to most cars. Um, so we left that gearbox obviously where it is, drive, driving the front wheels, and then mated to that is a, is a Hyper 9 um, electric motor. Yeah. And in there are a number of batteries, I believe about five, isn't it? Yeah, we've got uh, about 25 kilowatt hours in there, 25 kilowatt hours under the back seat where the fuel tank was. This beautiful black box, <laughs> <laughs> um, which is where the original battery was, same as, is, is hiding our new pumping system. So that's all just tucked in there. We've got the original LHM fluid reservoir um, as a little anachronism, which was part of the original car. And uh, still runs the original spheres. The whole of the system, except for the part that we developed, is still running as it would have done back in 19, whatever it was, 50 something when it was, when it was first made. So, but it actually works slightly better now, doesn't it? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay, right, Steve, so that's under the bonnet. Should we have a, a quick look inside? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's, let's, let's go. Inside is um, pretty much exactly as it came out of the factory back in 1972, this particular model, isn't it? Um, it's got column gear change. Obviously, we've retained the, um, uh, the, the gearbox on this particular car. And then reverse is done on a switch. It's a classic Citroen DS steering wheel with uh, just one spoke. Yeah, it seems rather beautiful. strange, but it's really cool. Just here, this is um, the charge point. It's, uh, it's a Type 2 charger. And uh, just the uh, as a final little touch, as de designed and provided by the owner, the little DSEV Electronique sign. Mm, very French. Should we go for a drive? Hey. That's your I line. I suppose I'm going to do it, haven't <laughs> I? Yeah, OK, I'll let you have that one this time, because you've got no choice. <laughs> Bonjour, monsieur. Au revoir. <laughs> oh, I'm right, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, now we say goodbye. Switch it on. Au revoir. Here we go, Steve. Uh -huh. You and me once again. Yeah, exactly. Not driving done this before, have we? I know. Camera watching us driving around the track. I know. <laughs> so, um, once again, we're at Bista Heritage, and uh, this time we're driving this beautiful. 1972 Citroen DS. Yeah, um, my dream car. Your dream car. Yeah. Which wasn't my favourite, but I've actually fallen madly, desperately in love with it now. In but fact, only since it's been converted to electric. <laughs> Absolutely, only since it was. Yeah, I didn't like it at all, but the electric conversion is fantastic. Yeah. So the thing about this car is, it was the immediate successor to the Traction Avant. Yeah, I love that car. Yeah, but it's something that looked like it was out the Cleestone Cops. And, the, and this parachuted down into the Paris Motor Show like it was something from another planet, like a spaceship, like a Jetsons. <laughs> and no one could believe it. It was nothing like this had ever been seen before. And it was designed to do the long French roads, all lined with poplars, with terrible road surfaces. So it has this amazing hydro pneumatic suspension. All the suspension, brakes, and power steering run from a single um, hydraulic system. And uh, that was our big challenge when we were doing the electric conversion. So, uh, yeah, and uh, which it turns out we managed quite well, I think. 
it's for me it actually dries better than the original it's like mm. firmer which I think suits it yeah um, no I, I think it was, a, it was a really good idea and Oli done a really good job of it as well didn't he yeah. actually doing that it was it was fantastic yeah re really really fantastic in fact we may have a new product which is a, an alternative suspension system for Citroen owners who are not quite ready to convert but you know want to maybe just improve their yeah, ride yeah but maybe yeah yeah no, it does. It drives absolutely lovely. Um, there's there's no effort. It's just just simple. There's there's nothing to worry about. You don't you know? There's, we've got gears, um, but we don't really need them that often. In fact, we don't need them around here at all, do we? Um, and it's just so lovely to drive. And you know what? The nicest thing for me about it is if I drive around my little town where I live, people smile and wave. <laughs> it's so nice, and we've got this little bell on here. I don't know if you can hear that, um, but it, it's it's just nice. People they, they look, they hear that, and they wave back and smile even more. And yeah. it's beautiful. It's so it's it's just lovely, it, and it makes it brings a big smile to people's faces. Yeah, I'm, and I'm so happy that the owner of this uh, I wanted it to convert it because I've always wanted to drive up to convert one of these cars. They're all they are begging for it. They mm. were ahead of their time, and now once again. Um, you know, we're taking it into another new century. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's good when you, you know, you're ahead of time. I mean, it's a bit like us, really, isn't it? We said to the chap who owns the car that we would make sure it does 150 miles. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah well, I actually did 151.279. Because <laughs> it, it says it in kilometres, so yeah. when I translate it to um, miles, it's, uh, it's 151.279 miles exactly. Okay. <laughs> the, thing, the thing about this car is that we've used the space underneath the bonnet and also uh, underneath the whole of the back seat where the, the fuel tank, tank was, used yeah. to be. Yeah, we filled that with batteries. Yeah. That means that the, the boot space isn't used at all and it's a very large very deep boot space and give a range extension. To so give it like another 50 miles or so? Yeah, at least another 50, oh, yeah. 50, another 50, 70 miles would be easy and also within the weight capabilities of the right. car. Yeah, so it's beautiful. I'm so proud of this car. And, uh, no, whole... you have to give it back, Steve. <laughs> yeah. You cannot keep it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but yeah, I'm so proud of the whole team because um, everyone's contributed to it. So yeah, great car.